Hello, everybody, and welcome to Embracing Mindfulness with Dr. Constance Longmire. I am Dr. Constance Longmire, and I want to give a shout out to the Twinsburg Public Library. Woo -woo -woo -woo. They are my friends. Thank you for allowing me to come and talk about embracing mindfulness. Again, Constance Longmire here. I am a success coach and a corporate trainer. So I work with people all the time about behavior and about making logical decisions. And I work with companies that bring people together to talk about the main thing and keep them all on the same page. Today, we're talking about embracing mindfulness, embracing mindfulness. So I wanna know how many of you ever heard of the word mindful or mindfulness? It's kind of, it's becoming a trend. Have you heard of that? Some of you have, I'm sure, or some of you, and maybe if you meditate, if you take yoga, or if you have think tanks, perhaps that word has come up. We're going to talk about embracing mindfulness. I want to first, you know, let's just, let's just breathe. Oh, 2020 was, man, what a year. What a year. <laughs> what a year. So that's one of the reasons I'm glad we're talking about mindfulness because we We've lost so much. I'm not talking about the, the beautiful people who went on, um, but I'm talking about our thought process. We lost so much. We were secluded in. We, we had missed that interacting with people. And within about a year, we had developed habits and things that sometimes weren't healthy for us. So today I'm going to talk about being mindful. It is so important that you are mindful of where you are, who you are, and the behavior that you are displaying. Again, where you are, who you are, and the behavior of that you are displaying. We're gonna talk about mindfulness and exactly what it is. Some people think, well, man, I don't know what mindfulness is. I heard of it. It's being in the moment. It's being present. It's being right where you need to be, right where you want to be. It's where I'm not grocery shopping and I'm thinking about I got the clothes out the cleaners. Oh my God, I left the clothes in the dryer. It's not having a dinner with my family. I'm thinking about, oh my God, I turn the report in to my job. Oh my God, I, I, I'm, I'm upset with the people that I work with or how do I get to that Zoom meeting? It's being present. Or if you're at the grocery store, the grocery shop, you know, pick, pick your produce, pick your whatever you eat. Do that. Be mindful. If you're at a family dinner, be mindful of that and talk within each other. Mindfulness is being present and being aware of where you are, man. You have to be aware where you are and you have to be present. Put that smile on your face. I have, I don't know if you can see it here. I have this string here. This really, this is how life is. It, it has us so up and down. It's like, okay, so much is vying for our time, the string. You know, uh, they want our attention. And uh, because we make so many decisions and we have to do so much, I, I'm pulling it like what what it won't let me be me why why can't I why can't I what's what's going on it's it's bringing me down so it wants to have a pseudo me someone that's not me to control and just bring me down so this person here this nice smiley face is not the real me it's someone that I like I love to smile but mindfulness is not this mindfulness is being present in the moment listening understanding, asking questions. We're going to go through this whole series. Stick with me. We have two series where I'm coming on via Zoom or another um, meet, uh, social media, YouTube. And then the third session, I'm coming on live. Yes, you can ask me questions. And that's one of the fun parts about it. I can talk, we can talk about what you learned so far. And I'll be able to talk you through some things that maybe you're experiencing. Let's get to my notes. Let's get to my notes. We're talking about being mindful. If I put my head down, it's because I'm looking at my notes. Being mindful. Uh, how many of you say that you are mindful of where you are? Be honest. Uh -huh. no, be honest. <laughs> be honest. Be honest. So most of us are not, because our thoughts run through our mind rapidly, rapidly. According to some psychologists, we think in our mind fifty, depending on what you read, to eighty thousand thoughts a day. And you know what the scary part about that is? Most of the thoughts, most of them are either regrets or fear. Imagine 50,000 to 80,000 thoughts in our mind a day. And most of them, and again, a lot of them are repeated thoughts, repeated thoughts. They're not necessarily new thoughts, but it's the same thought over and over and over and over again. We're thinking about it in various ways. 
but most of all of those are regrets. And I don't mean um, those type of, well, I wish I would have married this one, or I wish I would have um, married that one. It's more, it's some of the regrets as far as, man, why didn't I get the meatloaf instead of the chicken? Or why didn't I buy that dress or this one? Or why did I take that position? Why didn't I speak up for myself? So a lot of your thoughts are those things. So being mindful has to do with controlling your thoughts, just thinking in the present and being exactly where you are. It's not pulling in. Remember my string? It's not being controlled by all those 50,000, 80,000 thoughts where you're all discombobulated and the one that dominates your mind, that's the one you continually think about over and over and over again. Stop the madness. Become mindful about who you are. Man, you have this beautiful life. Your beautiful life, your beautiful family, wherever you are, take the time to enjoy where you are. Be present and be mindful where you are. If you find yourself in a state of mind, accept things. Sometimes you want to change everything. But, but to all of us who are like to control, and because I'm one of them, I don't control sometimes can have a negative connotations, connotation. I just want things to run in proper order. So those of us who always want things to run proper order 24-7, newsflash, it doesn't, not all the time. The best made plan sometimes. It can come through as flawed. But we're going to talk about mindfulness and how even in those situations, we can pull ourselves in so we're not being controlled and we're not being pulled by, by, a, by a balloon with a smiley face. We want to make sure that we are in control of our thoughts. Those 80,000, 50,000 thoughts, once they get into our, our mind, we start acting them out. We start acting them out. Depending on what we think about, if we're not mindful, we'll become curt, we'll become snippy, we'll become angry, we'll become people that we are not because the thoughts that I have are dominating my mind. There's something within those 50,000, either I'm, I'm fearful about something. During this pandemic, there's a lot of um, emotions came to, to, to focus and a lot of things where people thought, am I going to make it? What am I doing? What's, what's going on? Will we be okay? So a lot of those thoughts controlled us. A lot of those thoughts are controlling us now because we're not really sure. Some of us are really sure. Do we get this? Do we get that? Is it the Pfizer? Is it the Johnson Johnson? And we go on and on and on instead of just, okay, I'm going to stop. And, and those of you who subscribe to pray, pray. Those of you who subscribe to meditation or both, do both. But whatever it is, do something. So you are not running around here like, ah, like, like the, the, the guy in Home Alone. Ah, you want to be controlled because if not, again, you'll be snarky, snippy. You'll be one of those person that people are like, no, I got to stay away from her. I got I to stay away from him because they're not themselves. Lately, they've been discombobulated. Lately, they haven't been themselves. So I'm just going to back up <laughs> and, and leave them alone. One of the things that you can start when to be mindful, get up in the morning, get up in the morning and start being mindful, sit still. And this may be hard for some of us because I get up, I get going. Uh, I get up, Lord, help me. I keep me, I say my prayer. I get up, I look at my calendar. I, I try to get to my assistant so I can, we can map up my week, my day, whatever it is I have to do. And I'm off. I'm making decisions all, all the time. And some of you are like that. If life is in high demand, whether you have children, toddlers, babies, or, or jobs, things that are coming back, where people are going back to work, some are working some two days, three days, and some days off. However life is having you to try to get back to what I call this new normal, we can get discombobulated. So we need to take the time in the first thing of the day to slow down. Make yourself, make yourself, mm -mm, I hear you. Do not talk yourself out of it. Sit down and make yourself think like this is what I have to do. I'm going to wake up with a grateful heart because I'm grateful that I'm alive again in this day. I'm mindful of what it is that I have to do today. And I want to be present in the moment. In this moment, I don't care if it's raining outside. I don't care if it's snowing outside. I don't care if the sun is shining. Be present in the moment. Just sit there and take it in. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Do it with me. Inhale. Hold it. One, two, three, four, five. And let it out. 
you feel much better. I do that practice a lot, even when, if I'm upset, and this is a good practice to have, I breathe. I don't breathe like one of those bulls, but I start to breathe within myself because when you're angry and upset, you can say things, you'll be upset. You wanna breathe in and breathe out. You want to be mindful of where you are and you want to be mindful of what you're doing. Um, whenever you feel emotionally ill, now emotionally ill has to do a lot where you're out of your natural order, where your emotions are taking, uh, taking flight. And again, I'm gonna use my friend here a, a lot. <laughs> Where our emotions are taking us all over, the, all over the place. We need to identify where our thoughts are. Where, where are we? What, what are you doing? And, and it's not, I'm going to tell you something. A lot of times people would start to think, oh, is this, I, I have forgetful. I'm so forgetful. No, you need to be more mindful. In some cases, some people may be forgetful. But I think if we become more mindful of where we are and we slow down, Get off that gerbil wheel of life. You know, you see that gerbil wheel where the gerbil go around and around. Get off. Just say, I'll stop it. Let's get off. I, I'm, I'm going to be mindful of where I am because I have to make some decisions. Some decisions that you have to make, you have to be present. I don't know of too many decisions that you have to make that does not require you to think first. I'll give me a minute. And then let's just a fire or death. Everything else, they didn't answer now. Okay, tell them I'll call them back in five minutes or tell them and I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm coming close to a decision. Be honest about it. I'm coming close to a decision. I will let you know. I, I'm not ready for an answer yet or right now I'm tied up doing this because I can't afford to have too many things and I'm, I'm like being controlled. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. So again, when we feel this cognitive and distortion going on, we're all over the place, all over the map. We need to take the time to say, wait, stop. I need time to breathe. It, it, even if you're in a discussion and discussion is high spirited or discussion is, is becoming a little more um, high spirited than you're normal with, just say, look, I, I, I'm at my point of saturation right now. I need to take a step back. I don't want to display anger. I'm at my point of saturation. I have to step back. I have to stop right now and think and breathe because I do not want to say the wrong thing, nor do I want to act the wrong way. Some of the things that we do in this cognitive uh, distortion, we magnify things. Again, we, uh, we magnify sometimes the worst things. We, we say, oh my God, if I don't get that promotion, my life is over, I can't get the house. Then we, my kids send my kids to college. And if they don't go to college, oh my God, God knows where they're gonna end up, but then go to college. We magnify something that's not really happening. We have already, we already have made that conclusion without having it the facts. We have our mind and the thoughts are going around and around. Stop that, as, as Zig Ziglar say, stop that stinking thinking. Stop it right now. Be mindful of your thoughts and what you're saying and what you're doing. You do not want to be out of sorts. You do not. Not in this age and time where people have cameras on their phone. Well, while you're there acting up, they got the camera. They're like, mm, 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 mm. I see Dr. Lamar, I see you. Be mindful of where you are and be careful what you magnify. Man, I can't fit. If I don't lose these pounds, oh my God, what am I going to do? It's summer. It's, it's, it's hot girl summer and I'm not losing this weight. Oh my, you didn't lose it? Guess what? You didn't lose it. They still make clothes your size, I'm sure. I'm sure you can find clothes your size. Even this guys, if I don't lose that weight, man, if I don't get a six pack, hey, you don't get it. You don't get it. Be mindful. And sometimes things that we can change take time in changing. There are some things that are totally out of control, our, our control. I could plan a picnic for tomorrow and get everybody ready, but then it's gonna rain. The picnic. I have no control over the weather. There's no, I can hope and wish and pray that it'll be sunshine, but if it rains, it was it was things were out of my control. So know the difference between what's in your control and what's out of your control. You really can't control another human being as much as you want to try. At some point in time, it's going to come up to rebellion. So what you can do is display and share your feelings, your actions, your emotions. This, I get upset when, or I, I don't, I feel a lot of sorts when this happened, 
Or if you're going to your job and say, I, uh, we had a meeting yesterday. I have some questions about that meeting because when I left, I felt that, 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 that. I was uncomfortable in, in, in sharing my thoughts because I thought that they would not be accepted. So remember, be careful what you magnify. If someone said, if I ask somebody out, man, I'm be like, and they say, no, uh, they're not going to, I'm going to be on social media. They're going to talk about me. I'm going to come me. No, no. Where is that coming from? Who is feeding that into you that you're thinking that? Stop it. I'm going to get a t-shirt that says stop it. Just stop it. I'm going to say stop that ugly thinking. Stop that stinking thinking. Just stop it. Be mindful. Again, some things are out of your control and some things are in your control. Some things you can control, like your behavior. I can try to be mindful and control my behavior, control my actions. But as far as the weather, some things that may happen on my job, a layup, I did all, all. So could have done all that they can, but the department closed, the department moved to another state. That's out of your control. The thing you can do, be mindful of where you are and be honest. I can't control that my job closed. I can't control that my job moved out of state. I can't control that um, I now am in this position uh, to find another employment or, or to start my business. But this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do things that I can control. I'm going to a career center. I'm going to get a coach. <laughs> I'm going to get someone to help me figure out this thing in life. Or I'm at a place where I, I need to do more. I need to be better. I'm getting to a stage of life where, hmm, there's some decisions that have to be made. There are some things that I know I can control. So I'm going to get something, get someone, read some books, be mindful of where I am and the decisions that I'm making, and be a grown-up and be mature about it. Yeah, I made that decision. Yes, I said that. I was in my mindful state of mind when I said it. So I can say yes, successfully, yes, confidently that I did it. Again, be careful what you magnify. Be careful because you don't want to magnify the wrong thing because if you do that, it's not going to be good. We don't want to magnify the one thing. Nothing is filtering. Oh my God, filtering. That's the one again. We're talking about cognitive um, distortions, cognitive distortions. It's filtering occurs when we uh, the net, someone gives us a compliment, but in there they give us uh, some constructive criticism. Filtering is this. Uh, you did really good on your on your project, Dr. Constance, but mm, part of it was we couldn't understand, and at times you talked so fast, but it was an outstanding project that you did. And meanwhile, that person, I'm thinking about, boy, they said that, you know, people didn't understand it. I'm filtering out the positive and concentrating on the negative. So be careful what you're mindful, what you are thinking of being mindful. All those 50,000, 80,000 thoughts, again, depending on what you read, be careful <laughs> because you don't want to be thinking about the wrong thing and mindful about that. Because if you're mindful about the wrong thing, you display that behavior and, and those actions follow. So again, two words, stop it. Concentrate and be mindful on the good, on the good part. They said your, your presentation was good. And that's what you concentrate on. Or if your supervisor says, excellent job, you're doing good work, your mind, you're filtering, you're saying, I bet they don't want me to work overtime. Uh, I think they'll have to work Saturday. Or I know the other shoe going to drop and they're going to say something negative. I know they said I was good, but something negative is going to happen. No. Stop filtering out the positive to think about the negative. Stop doing that. Stay in the positive. Say it with me. Stay in the positive. Stay in the positive. Do not filter out the good things. Stay in the positive. Embrace the good. Work on the bad. Work on the constructive criticism. Something, again, that you can control. If your presentation is too long, you can control the length of your presentation. If someone else says that you need more PowerPoints, you can control that. So remember, don't filter out. These are cognitive distortions. Do not filter out the positive to be mindful and think only about the negative. No. You want to be mindful about what you think about and where you are. Because again, I've said this several times now, your thoughts 
Where your thoughts go, they're your behavior. Where your thoughts become your behavior. Thoughts, behavior. Thoughts, behavior. You want to stop that. One of the last things you want to do. You heard of jumping jacks? One, two, three, four. Come on, come on, come on. You want to stop jumping to conclusions. <laughs> Uh, yeah, stop jumping to conclusions. Jumping to conclusions is often used when you do not, you don't know what the person's going to think, so you think what they're going to think. So you say what you're going to think. Um, you don't know what they're going to feel, so you come up with your own assumptions as to um, how they're going to feel. Like, I, I know you didn't like it anyway. Did they say they didn't like it? What makes you so confident that they didn't like it? Maybe they're going to send you an email or a text saying that they did like it. They just didn't have time to tell you at that time. We jump to all these negative decisions and we try to be so mindful in them. No, mindfulness requires that you are aware of your emotions, of your thoughts, of your feelings. And you are, say it with me, present. You are present. You're there. You do not filter. You do not jump to conclusions. You're there. And you only can control you. And you control what you can control. You cannot try to control another human being consistently because they will not uh, they will not allow you to do the call base. They won't. They're like, no, I'm tired of it. Only control what you can control. And be okay with that. Grant yourself grace and permission to live your life, babe. Come on. That, oh, that was, snap, that was powerful right there. Give yourself permission to live your own life and do what it is that you have to do. You can do it. Honestly, you can do it. I'm, I'm, I'm serious about it. You can do it. Let's move on. Now, we talked about filtering. We talked about, um, 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 what was the other, jumping to conclusions. You want to stop that. Stop all that. And let's move on to something positive. We want you to have a grateful jar. Mindfulness requires, this is, this is mine. This is my grateful jar of being grateful. When I sit and I and I think, if you these are various pictures of me, if I get it kind of close, she, she me there, 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 there. These are various pictures of me. I'm grateful. And things that have happened to me that I'm grateful for, I try to put in a jar. You can make one. Get it? This is just happens to be one of those marble jars that you can get from any any store. Almost a, any any Goodwill or consignment, or if you know one of those discount stores, you can get it from there. It's just a typical jar. When you get up in the morning, you can't. Oh, no, what happened to me yesterday? That was good. And I forgot to write it that night. Write it down. Put it in here. What's going to go in my jar today, tonight? What happened to me was I did a Zoom for the awesome Twinsburg Library on embracing mindfulness. That's going in this jar. What else happened to me today? I met up with a good friend. And we talked. We had a good time. We had a we we were able to laugh. That's going in the jar. Another thing, I bought plants. I love plants. I bought plants. And plants make me smile. That's going in here. Because in those days, sometimes from like, man, the, the day it wasn't a good day for me. I'm have to, what, what is it? What can I pull? And I will be able to pull out. Oh, I did a zoom. That was fun. Pull another one. I bought plants. Oh my God, plants make me smile. Get a grateful jar. A grateful jar. Before you go to bed, write down. It, no one's going to really read it but you. Write down what happened that day that made you smile, happy. Again, not filtering, not jumping to conclusions, not magnifying the, the ugly. What was the good thing? According to a psychologist, and I just read this, according to psychologists at California University, they're saying that those who journal, and have grateful jars, they have a better quality of life. <laughs> they have a better quality of life. Another thing you can do, get a journal. This is my journal. I'm not gonna open it because I want you to see what's in it. But this is my 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 uh, journal. I went to a conference from with my friend, uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Rachel Talton, and she gave us these these awesome pink. And if you know me, I love pink. Uh, this uh, this beautiful pink journal. So I write in it. I write in it. 
what, what's going on? What happened to me that day? I write in my not only my natural dreams, but my aspirations and my dreams for my life. What is it that I want to do? So I try to put that there in, in my journal. And I have that tenacity about it. And then it's sometimes, can I be honest with you? Sometimes I'm in my journal, not always am I happy. There's some things that happened to me that, man, it hurt my heart. My mom passed. That, that hurt at my heart. So I wrote how I felt about that. And how, in my writing, I wrote a book about that. So I want you to be mindful. Get a grateful jar. Be mindful. Start journaling. Be mindful. Be present where you are. Enjoy life. Come on. Put your hat on. Sit back. Put your smile and face on. Take a selfie. Be mindful of where you are, who you are, and embrace mindfulness. Your life will improve. Your health will improve. And psychologically, you will improve and your behavior. It's a win-win. When you embrace mindfulness, you be in the present. I'm not thinking about other things around me. If I'm at work, I'm thinking about work. I'm giving it my all. If I'm at the grocery store, I'm, I'm present. If I'm on whatever my job is, I'm present. Doing this Zoom, I'm present. I'm giving it my all. I'm present and I'm mindful. I want you to embrace mindfulness. It will work for you. It's the best thing that you could do for you to reduce worry. Reduce worry. Our, our mind, our mind, there's three parts of, of our mind that we bring in information. One is encoding. And then there's um, sens sensory storage, right? They all stop at sensory storage. Sensory storage is, going to, sensory storage is our, our, our short term and long term memory. Information comes in, our encoding that says, okay, all right, uh, this is information. Do I need it, not need it? Ah, if we don't need it, short term memory is that's less than a minute. Long term memory is there. And you wonder why we can remember however age we are. We can remember your kindergarten teacher because it's in your, it's in your mind. My kindergarten teacher is Mrs. Percy. Those of us in twins, you might remember her. I think she was almost everybody's kindergarten teacher. She was a wonderful woman, such a beautiful soul. And I, I just thought the world of her as a kindergarten. But this is what you have to do to be mindful. And that what's coming in, if it doesn't need to be there, you know that button on, on the computer starts with the D-E-L, delete, 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 delete it out. So you can live this beautiful, magnificent life being mindful and not being tugged by all those thoughts. I so hope that you enjoyed this lesson as much as I did. Man, I had so much fun. Hey, this is Coach Dr. Constance Longby. I'm glad you came and joined me today. Come back again next week. I have another lesson for you. Do me a favor. Go to my website, drconstancelongmire.com. I have something you can download, drconstancelongmire.com. You'll be able to download some, some tips on how to remain a mindful leader. Thank you so much, and I will see you soon. Have a good afternoon.